This week in our weekly chat with the guys from Hot Hardware, we're talking GPUs, one cheap, one expensive, and one that'll save you some flash speed. Also, we're talking about a new MSI net top that's a little bit different than other ones you've seen. Of course, we're chatting with the guys from HotHardware.com, Dave Altavilla and Marco Cipetta. This week we saw the blogs light up with news of a new ATI Radeon. This one is intense. It's gigantic for one thing, but also it's gigantic in the performance side. Marco, can you kind of explain what's going on here? And I, I guess you actually have a prop too, right? Uh, yeah, the uh, Radeon HD 5970 is a foot long of gaming goodness. You can Man, see how big the crazy. card is. It's absolutely gigantic. <laughs> uh, biggest card that I've actually ever tested. Um, it's powered by a pair of Radeon cypress gpus the same gpus on the 5870 but they're slightly down clock so you don't get quite the performance of two 5870s but two gpus two gigs of ram 3200 stream processors extreme performance at any resolution basically with uh you know in-game settings maxed out for the best quality what's the price look like on that thing 5.99 wow so that's no joke yeah. that's more than most computers that i buy so it's yeah, it's, five dollar foot long. That's for sure. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, you're paying six hundred dollars for that. Uh, I mean, realistically, how when you compare it to the next thing down? I mean, I guess the next thing down is really two cards that you probably put in separately. I mean, what's what's sort of the price premium on something like this? So it's closest in performance to two Radeon HD 5850s running in Crossfire. And those run for about 260 a pop, so there is a is a price premium, you know. But you get it all on a single card, and it's fairly overclockable. So you know, for people who don't have motherboards that can take multiple graphics cards, you get multi GPU performance in a single card. Yeah, but those people aren't going to be buying $600 cards, man. That's insane. $600. I just can't believe that. It blows me away. <laughs> but on the other end of the spectrum, that's not the only card that uh, is notable this week. We're also talking about an Nvidia one that's only about 100 bucks. Dave, what's going on with that one? Yeah, actually, NVIDIA likes to um, uh, refine and release their graphics cards, uh, especially in the lower end, uh, almost uh, on a quarterly basis, it seems, uh, these days. But, uh, yeah, the, the GeForce um, GT240 is a low-end graphics card, uh, 96 stream processors, so, you know, a fraction of the horsepower of uh, the 5970 that Marco was talking about. But this is a, a nice low-power card that retails for $100 or less, and provides some pretty good gaming experience, some pretty good performance up to resolutions of like 1920 by 1200 for your average 20, 22 inch monitor. And this is no uh, foot long card marker, like you have a, a prop for this one too, right? This is, uh, it's like yeah, a regular no, size card. Uh, I mean, with compared to other ones that are kind of in this price range, is this a big leap? So people really check this out or is this more of another incremental step, Dave? Uh, it's an incremental step for sure, and there are other options, certainly from uh, ATI's side of the fence, um, or the AMD uh, folks, if you will, uh, in this space as well. But uh, it, this, this is a nice card. Uh, it is low power, so it doesn't take any external uh, power connector. just plugs into a slot and gets all the juice from the slot that plugs into it. Uh, it's also, you know, as a result of being low power, it also uh, puts out a lot less heat. So this is a good card for something like a home theater PC, a uh, small form factor PC that you might plug into your um, entertainment center. Do a little bit of light gaming, some web surfing, pop in a Blu-ray, you know, with a, with a Blu-ray internal drive in that machine, and it's, and it's a nice solution. It's, so this is, uh, it's not going to take up a whole foot like that other one, I guess, in your home theater PC. Other nah, stuff <laughs> other <a> shoe box. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Other stuff we're talking about today, uh, the Flash for a long time has promised that they'd actually be able to offload some of the processing power of Flash onto a GPU. And this is, you know, in cases like a netbook or slower computers, or actually even medium-powered computers, a lot of times Flash can eat up a lot of CPU resources, especially when you're doing video, you know, especially those higher resolutions like 1080p where people are kind of striving for. Uh, now, Marco, we're seeing that, you know, this the newest version of Flash is sort of enabling this. Can you kind of explain, like, what's going on and exactly, like, what the performance benefits are for people? Sure. Um so the Flash 10.1 beta allows GPU offloading. So some of the processing work that was done on the CPU is now being done on the GPU. Um, so you are correct in that netbooks will, will benefit, but only netbooks powered by NVIDIA's ION right now. You need a discrete GPU from uh, AMD or NVIDIA for that to work. So we did some testing and you know, playing back HD Flash encoded clips we're seeing huge reductions in CPU utilization, sometimes in the neighborhood of you know 50% lower. Wow. So fewer drop frames, smoother video. It's it's, it's really really a nice uh, 
you know, nice release from Adobe. Well, a lot of people really, I mean, they like the netbook because some of them have HDMI out, so you can hook them up to your TV or whatever, and it's just kind of an easy solution to get video on your TV. So this new Flash version should really kind of uh, uh, clean things up and make it a little bit easier to watch these higher resolutions. Yes, yeah, like if you go to a site like Hulu and you, you make one of the videos full screen, even on a semi high end PC, it's it's tough to get fluid video sometimes. Yeah. Uh, this makes it much more common for the video to be playing back smoothly. Got it. So it's going to eliminate some of those jitters and stutters. And uh, you know, speaking of kind of lower powered computers, MSI has actually come out with a new net top that has some really cool new features. It's it's lower powered, like you know we were talking about the flash video. So that new flash player actually might help out this computer a lot. But in addition. There is uh, a touch screen, so and it, of course with Windows 7, uh, which has a whole bunch of new touch features, this uh, new NetTop can take advantage of this. Dave, can you kind of tell us a little bit about uh, the in-depth of this MSI NetTop? Sure. So actually, this is kind of um, you know uh, uh, one of many um, from various manufacturers coming to the market uh, as of late. Um, you know, HP, ASUS, uh, HP with their uh, TouchSmart, and ASUS with the eTop. Um, lots of folks coming to market with these all-in-one PCs that fit nicely in the kitchen, perhaps, uh, or in, certainly in the dorm, dorm room settings. Um, but all-in-one multimedia machine with uh, this, specifically this MSI machine, has a Core 2 Duo processor, uh, 2.1 gigahertz, 2.2 gigahertz, excuse me, Core 2 Duo. It does have an NVIDIA ION chipset for um, that integrated graphics processor that we were talking about earlier. So it will excel, uh, accelerate flash and offload HD video content onto the chipset rather than have the processor do the work. And, uh, you know, built in uh, Blu ray player and, uh, of course, Windows 7 with all the touch gesture goodness that goes with that. So, you know, yeah, just a, a well rounded multimedia machine that, um, you know, doesn't take up a lot of space and doesn't use a lot of power. All right, guys, so we're going to leave it there. We're out of time. Uh, Marco Cipetta, the managing editor of Hot Hardware, thanks for coming on the program. Also, Dave Altavilla, who is the editor-in-chief over there, thanks for coming on the show as well. I'm Randall Bennett, and don't forget, you can catch us on iTunes. We're on YouTube. We're over at hothardware.com. We're over at techv.com. All the links in both places, so you can check it out wherever you pick. Anyway, see you later. Media hosting provided by Castfire. Anywhere, anytime, any media, Castfire.